Welcome back. This is the second module in the Inventor Essentials Organic Shapes Using Loft course. In this module, I'm going to discuss using conditions to influence the loft shape. So to begin with, we're going to focus strictly on the conditions tab in the uh, loft feature window. We uh, look, took a brief look at that in the previous module. I'm going to explain how the angle condition works and I'll have you work some examples using the angle condition. Uh, then I'll take time to explain how the weight condition works. And then we will work on some examples using the weight condition. And finally, I'll conduct a demonstration on how to create a stool seat using uh, these two conditions. So how the angle condition works. Now, when you're already in the loft command, like we saw in the last module, uh, for every sketch that you have in your loft, each one has a, a condition option. You can choose either a free condition, which is the default condition when you're allowing Inventor to figure out the shape itself, or you can click that drop down and choose direction condition. Now when direction condition is selected, uh, you'll see the angle and weight options on the right hand side uh, light up until when it, when it's in a free condition those angle those uh, options are grayed out so you can't change them so here I've chosen direction condition now just a quick uh, description of what the angle condition does if you look at the example to the right the sketch 3 uh, direction condition is using a 90 degree uh, angle and that is the default angle that means the sketch is moving away the the shape is moving away from the sketch at a 90 degree angle perpendicular to that profile now in this example I changed that from 90 to 45 degrees so the angle is moving as you see in the image it's moving at a 45 degree angle to the left and so you see the shape has made that change. It's kind of swooping to the left there instead of the, the big bulge that you saw in the previous image. And as I said, the default angle is 90. You can choose any angle between 0 and 180 degrees. And this image I'm only showing, just to, for illustration purposes, I'm showing... Uh, just one sketch with the direction condition but you can do all sketches in your loft with a direction condition and really play around with it and see what kind of um, what kind of shape you get so I'm going to conduct a uh, little exercise and I'll ask you to please uh, also perform the exercise when I'm done this is to just give you a feel for how the angle affects the shape of a part welcome back you can see I created a new part, I call it angle exercise. This will be available to you to, to use so you can follow along this, with this demonstration. If you're not using Inventor, then you'll need to create a part on your own and make some sketches that roughly approximate these. I'll give you a quick tour, just a quick look so you can get an idea for the size and orientation of these sketches. Okay, so I'll go ahead and create a loft. I'm gonna add these sketches. Okay, now let's take a look at the preview. You can see the shape is very smooth. It's a rounded appearance. That's the default shape that, uh, that the loft command, that inventor, is creating automatically. Now let's go to the conditions tab. I'm going to change these from the free condition to the direction condition. And you can see from the preview how, how it's already changing. So Let's keep looking at that preview. You can see where before it was a nice, rounded, smooth appearance. Now it's it's a little bit more severe of an angle. Let's change that up a little bit. I'll give this a, uh, let's say, 120 by, let's, okay, let's go ahead and do 120 for both of them. Okay, the preview is not showing, so let's go ahead and create. Okay, you can see right here, uh, the greater than 90 degree angle is creating a very bulbous effect. Um, it's bulging out all the way to the tip. I suppose if we were to 
Let's edit the feature so that we can increase that. Let's see what happens if we bump it out to 150. Okay, the preview is showing this time. You can see it really got, it's, to, it's, it's bulging out so much it's almost starting to want to flatten. Yeah, it's coming all the way up over here. This is starting to have a uh, organic, almost like a squash or cucumber uh, squash kind of look. Okay, let's go over here and do less than 90. What happens if we do less than 90? I'll change that to 45. And look, we're getting the opposite of a bulbous effect over here. It's actually slimming. So let's see what happens if we change this one to 45 also. Yeah, so we got the exact opposite. 45, not 450. Okay, you can see what happens when we got a less than 90 degree angle over here. I'll go ahead and create this so we can see it. So with greater than 90 degrees, go focus on this kind of neck thing here. At greater than 90, it was like bulbing, it was bulging out over here, and less than 90, it's like concave almost. So you can see the different effects of using these angles, how they really shape that that part. Okay, in the next section, we're going to talk about the weight tab.